shot review of the awesomeness that is Witch Doctor. I got him for Christmas. I know it's really, really, really late, like 2011, a couple days before 2012, but I just want to get this review out. This is how awesome he is. And plus, I'm going on a trip tomorrow. Yay! So, yeah. Let's get this review started. First of all, I should start by saying we need the box and the instruction manuals. Manual. Not manuals. Um, uh, I'm just going to show you something. A bunch of people that got this got white tubes right here and two red tubes. Now, if I can find the page in the instruction manual. And I have 331 pieces, just like everyone else. I have nowhere in here to say I'm supposed to have red tubes, and my set never came with red tubes. So whoever got that is lucky, or I'm just unlucky. So let's get into the review. Uh, which doctor? I love these colors scheme, white, red, and black. I, I, I think the black was probably unintentional, but whatever. Uh, pretty awesome. Now everyone knows who Witch Doctor is. He's like the main big bad guy of Savage Planet. He mind controlled all the animals with his staff. Uh, I just went down two features. So he has his um, gun. I don't know if there's a specific name, but it's just a thorn axe shooter with a Zamor sphere. Probably pronounced that wrong, but in it. Uh, it's just a Stormer 2.0 thing, but with a Xamor Sphere and a Thornax Launcher and some claws. And if you want him to have two hands because he has no hand, I figured this out. So I put the ball down. Uh, if you turn, look, this is how you normally hold it. Put this like here, turn around, turn like this, or this. He has a giant claw. How awesome does that look? He has a giant claw. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he has any other features besides that. He has 39 of these red socket joint, no ball joints. Like, trust me, if you want some just plain ball joints, nothing else, this is the set that you want to get. Uh, here is his mind control staff, which I don't know why Lego in the instructions say to put them on like this. Like, put them on sideways. Once you want them to have it like this by like building this set the way it is like the way the instructions are intended so you know and in the cartoon this was like this much bigger I don't know why they made it smaller in the set or at least I don't know why they made it bigger in the show but, yeah and he has a weird thing going on like he has weird legs where they come they come down back down and then feet it's kind of weird. It's just cool at the same time. I also think that he's a big, I think he's the biggest uh, Hero Factory Titan so far. Because he's the most expensive. Probably has the most parts. And uh, right here he has his corrupted Quasi Spice. Or I actually think in the show these are like smoking for some reason. And there's also corrupted Quasi Spice on his staff. And he's also the same exact mask that's on him. The skull. I've always wanted to make a hero with that skull. The hero would look awesome. He's got like these cool looking like bone things. They look like uh, some sort of like tails. Like tail bones. They're really cool. He's got a white stringer slash neck paw type of piece. He's also got some... He's got a lot of these little body parts and a lot of these little Stormer 2.0 shooters. Like right here on his foot, he has one. And if you're a Genghis expecting different sized armor, well, he only comes with the number 5 armor piece. See, like, let me just my camera. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it, but there's number 5 in there. So, posability. All joint here. Here, here, when this gun, these old blades right here get in the way, here, and at his hand. And same with the other arm, just hand articulation. Uh, now legs, you can get some pretty decent poses out of him, like, 
got ball joint here. Your joints. But you can't really move all around. You can only bend back and forth. Side to side. Right here, he's got piston action going on. Everyone loves pistons. And foot that goes side to side. Back and forth. I'm not going to show you what the other leg looks like because it's the exact same thing. And one other thing I got didn't get. They want you to have this flat, this bar right here, okay. What's this part for? I thought you'd be able to like break this off and connect it here as like a holster, but no. Yeah, if, since this is a review, I have to rate him. So I would rate him a good 8.9. Because he's just awesome. Just from the back, I want to display him. It's all bare right here. Here. But yeah, I really suggest getting him. He, you're probably going to see him on clearance once in a while since it is. He did come out like last year. Or, no. This year, but in a couple days it would be last year. Well, you get the point. But anyway, this has been the Brickshot Review. Uh, yeah.